Chiller from Team G503 and Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. Uh, I'm going to start a series of three videos that are absolutely incredible. I had the blessing and the fortunate opportunity to be able to drive all three of the World War II Jeep prototypes uh, in England, and then we drove them to Normandy, France, and toured Normandy, France with these Jeeps, and then drove back to England. We probably did about 1,000 to 1,200 miles during that week. I also had the opportunity to drive the BRC40, and I drove the GP four-wheel steer, which all are incredible vehicles. I'm going to start, a, like I said, three-part series, and the first one's going to be the Willis MA, which I'll show you in this video, and then we'll go to the Bantam BRC, and I'll show you the Ford GP four-wheel steer also. Um, again, this is just something that's amazing that has happened to me, and I feel very humbled to be able to drive these three vehicles, especially where I drove them on the 71st anniversary of D-Day. Again, an incredible blessing. I want to thank the guys at Joe's Motor Pool, and I want to thank especially Dean Harvey, the owner of that company, for allowing me this privilege, and it was a fantastic journey. Show you the Willis MA. I hope you enjoy it. So in the barn here, we're looking at a 1941 Willis MA. Very distinctive features is the front end here, the grill, and the headlights on top of the fenders. You see how the fenders are cut? Early prototype. We've got solid rims here. Look how long the steps are. There's a lot of leg room in the MA, more so than the MB or the GPW. Take a look at the seats. Got the top folded up in the back seat here. See the steering wheel where the emergency brake would be and the light switches and the throttle as well as the push start, which is different because this is a column shift vehicle. You've got your gauges, your plates. Take a look at the crash pads. Different top bow brackets, handles. Uh, one recognizable feature would be the single top bow. Smooth top toolboxes. The rear end, this is something really interesting, these bumperettes, how they're formed. Your spare tire. Passenger side, we'll take a good look at the grab handle on the corner and on the side. Your fire extinguisher would be on the passenger side. And note the windshield clasps. Those would be made out of brass. They're painted OD green. And this vehicle was very fun and comfortable to ride in. It did top speed of around 60. 55, 50 is comfortable. It's been all the way to Normandy from England and back to England. It did very well. The Willis MA is a column shift T84 three-speed transmission with a Spicer 18 transfer case. The lever for the column shift is very easy to actuate and this setup provides for a very smooth ride up to speeds of 60 miles an hour. Here we're driving out of England to the ferry that will take us to Cherbourg, France. I am most impressed with how well this vehicle maintains the speeds of 55 miles an hour even up steep hills. And, and notice that the, the, the round cross member has is, is got more of an arch to it. Virtually an MB frame. Uh, there's some slight variations to the front gussets. And the bumpers uh, that look so as well on the ends? Yeah, it's got a, yep, that. And then the machine gun mount is shaped a little bit differently. Let me pop the hood. Completely different air filter. What would you call that style? Well, that's that is the pancake air cleaner with instead of the um, this style of air horn, it's got a um, steel air horn on it with a piece of flex hose. Uh, distributor, slack grill style dipstick. 
carburetor is a little bit different. It uh, bolts in front to back. You get a good look at that. That's the oil filter right there. Side to side. Carburetor bolt side to side. Yeah, instead of front to back. Horn is mounted on the firewall. There's an oil can. Looks like a very large or thick radiator. Is that different? Nope, that is it. Same way. Yep. No shroud. Uh, it's built into it. So the shroud's built into the radiator. Okay. okay. This is very definitive with the guards on the lights. And here's your engine compartment bonnet, they call it in the UK. We call it a hood in the US. On the hood, I noticed there were some rubber blocks that were different as well. Those rest up against the windshield frame. And you've got your windshield frame hold downs here on the side. We'll take a look at the front axle real quick on the Willis MA. It is a Spicer 25 with 4.88 gear ratios. And we'll walk inside the passenger side of the MA, and I'll show you on the dashboard. You can look at the gauges, which all function and operate perfectly. And then I'll show you the data tags and nomenclature plates and the serial number and date of manufacture. On the rear axles on the MA, they're scalloped, a little bit different than what's on the early MBs. Or the Fords. We've got these clasps here, and they would hold a side curtain on the side. Top O bracket is square. Yep. These seem to be sideways for the stra safety straps. Yep. Seat does pivot. The passenger seat does pivot up. And you would attach your safety strap that way. The fuel tank is under the driver's seat. And you lift the cushion. And there's your fill area right there. Ripped front to rear. See how it's bolted to the floor here? We've got the straps that hold down the tank. The top bow brackets are totally rounded instead of the cupped piece that slips over. That bracket seems a bit different as well. As well as the safety chains. Interesting little features like this. The footman loops look very similar to the ones that would be on an MB and a GPW. Would you agree? Yep. You got the pinto hook down there. The wheelbase on the Willis MA is 80 inches. The length is 126 inches. The width is 60 inches with a curb weight of 2,150 pounds. There is 50 known examples to exist left in the world, and out of those, only 29 of them have been known to be restored. This is truly a rare and fantastic vehicle. Thank you for watching. We are restoring a 1943 Willis MB on the Team G503 channel, and the things that happened because of that are just fantastic and wonderful, and the words just can't describe it. But if you'd like to follow along what we've been doing with the, with the MB since the start, we've taken it apart piece by piece, and we're restoring it and showing you how to do that and add some of this cool stuff together in the videos. Again, very fortunate to be able to do what I've done. I uh, don't know many people can say they did that, and I'm very, very, very humble and thankful. All right, till next time, my friends, keep it safe and happy jeeping.